Hello Investor Edge community and welcome to What's New. My name is Valerie and I'm an Agile coach at Industrial Edge. Today we want to give you some insights on our latest release, such as the new ARM use cases, the Resource Manager and the Identity Federation IED. Let's start with the new ARM use cases. Until now, industrial edge systems were limited into using devices with the x86 architecture. While it is a powerful CPU, setting up simple IoT use cases with many devices where computational performance is not critical can become quite costly. We are enabling our partners to bring ARM64 based devices and compatible apps into our industrial edge ecosystem. Let me show you some of these cost-effective use cases. Now it will be possible to run the ARM version of Flow Creator on an IoT 2050 device, allowing field data collection, basic analysis and data transfer to the cloud. Another use case is remote monitoring of network traffic by running Traffic Analyzer directly on the ARM-based network device, Scalens LPE9413. A third use case allows you to run TOSIBOX on an IoT 2050 or on a Weidmüller M4000 to connect to your field and perform remote management tasks. Next, we will take a look at the Resource Manager. Up to now, app developers were not able to use specific hardware resources for more complex use cases. This is due to the fact that containers not only isolate applications from each other, but also prevent direct access to the hardware. With the Resource Manager, app developers can now specify which hardware resources they need. As a major advantage, IE devices can run a virtual PLC in real time. This way, instead of having physical PLCs mounted on the shop floor, Virtual PLCs can be deployed and maintained in a data center. Additionally, with the Resource Manager, it becomes possible to accelerate AI applications using GPUs. Our third topic today is the Identity Federation IED. Up to this point, to access a device, you needed to manually sign up on the device and wait for your admin to approve you. The problem is, only one person on the IED can have admin rights. With the new functionality of the Identity Federation, it is now possible to connect the IED to the central user management of the IEM. This allows several users to have admin rights, and any admin can manage the access within the IEM. Through single sign-on, users can log into the device with their IEM account. Let me show you how it works. First, you need to connect the IED to the central user management in the IEM. Then you can manage the access to the IED in the central user management in the IEM. Last, you can log in to the IED with your IEM account. That's our news for today. Thanks for taking the time for Industrial Edge. Hasta la próxima.